Today I'm going to show you how to connect a Visual Studio IIS Express um, website over your local area network. This way you can access it from um, computers other than the one you're developing on. So first I'm going to launch uh, Visual Studios and I'm going to create a new website. So I want to run Visual Studios if it's 2013. You want to run it as administrator. Um, I'll explain the reason for this in a second. I'm just going to go start a new project. So I'm going to do uh, ASP.NET web application. We're going to call this um, LAN Connect. It's going to be MV MVC application. Okay, so now I'm going to run it. This will start IIS Express and uh, bind it to whatever the port number decided, which is 1313 in this case. And there we go, here's our new application. So, right now we can only access this from the computer that we're working on. To change that, open up your file browser, go to Documents, IIS Express, Config, and then the very first one, which is Application uh, Hosts. Dot config. Open that up. And we're going to scroll down until we find the website that we just created. You can see that the names are right here, so. Okay, so it's LAN Connect. Right now, the binding protocol is set up only for local host. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and highlight this. I'm going to copy it. Make a new line. And paste it. Oops. Copy this. paste it. So, I'm going to edit this now. Instead of having the second local host right there, I'm just going to put a star. This will mean that any connection trying to connect to this port, regardless of um, where it's coming from, will be picked up by, by um, this port this website that we've created. So let me go ahead and save that. Now the reason we need to run Visual Studios um, uh, version 2013 in administrator mode is because this, if you don't, apparently when you um, go ahead and run the program the next time you open it, it'll default all this back to normal. So. I'm going to go back to here. I'm just going to stop our application real quick. I'm going to restart it. Okay. Should all still come up. Now, before we can have um, it accessible from other computers, we need to actually go into our firewall settings and set a Oops. 
we need to go into our firewall settings and set um, a port forwarding basically for that for that port. So I'm going to go advanced settings and I'm going to go uh, inbound rules. So I'm going to create a new rule. It's going to be a port. Actually, let me zoom in over here. Go next. It'll be TCP. It'll be a specific port, which is going to be, in our case, uh, 1313, because that was the um, port of of that website, localhost 1313. So I'm going to go next. We'll allow the connection. Apply it to everything. And we can just name this as whatever we want. And then go ahead and click finish. So now we can see that we have this firewall exception. So now I get the IP address of this machine by opening up command prompt. Um, I'll show you the other way to open command prompt is just to search for, oops, just to search for uh, CMD. Get our IP address by typing IP config. And we can see it's 172.26.9.130. So I'm going to switch over here now to my Mac and I'm going to go to 192 or I'm sorry 172.26.9.130 and then the port number 1313. And we can see that that application came up. So um, that's pretty much all there is to it. Now, this can be accessed, this website can be accessed from any um, computer on the network. If you wanted to take this one step further and have it accessible over the internet, you can go into your actual, um, your actual router configuration and have that uh, port forwarded to the IP address. I'm not going to show you how to do that. You should know how to do that. But, um, and it varies with, with your router. But um, basically all you're going to do is just tell it to, um, basically all you're going to do is tell your router to port forward um, anytime it get, gets a, a request for port 1313 to forward it to this particular computer's IP address. And that's all there is to it. So now we can access this website oops, from any other system. Just to show that it's working, go ahead and make a change. Play it, switch over to my Mac, reload, and there we go.